Out of all the debates of Dr. and Sheikh Ahmed Didat, I have to say that the ones that he had with Jimmy Swagat are the best ones and the most powerful ones, the most impactful ones that people have watched. And today, Jimmy Swagat is trying to prove, or these Christian pastors are trying to prove as always, that the Quran is not the word of God as much as they are saying the Bible is not the word of God of god and today is no different we are about to find that out so i hope you guys are ready and i hope you guys have already liked the video you have already subscribed if you are new and you have already hit the bell notification assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh before we get started i just want you to know that you must leave a comment so that we know how you feel about today's video but without further ado let's go and let's get it Is the Bible really the word of God, truly the word of God? Now in any dispute, any confrontation, any case, legal, criminal, theological, the first thing they do is to identify the witnesses or the exhibits. So in this case, since we are talking about the Bible, I have brought with me here some Bibles. We would like to know which Bible are we talking about? Generally people say there's only one Bible. Generally people think there's only one Bible. But here I show you this little book here. This is the Holy Bible. It is called the Reams or the Douay version of the Roman Catholics. Brother Stanley, do you accept this as the word of God? It says the Holy Bible. Do you accept it? That's number one. Number two, I have here with me the Schofield Reference Bible. Reverend Schofield, backed by eight DDs, Doctors of Divinities, they produced this Bible. This is based on the King James Version. Are we talking about this Bible, Roman Catholic Bible, or this Protestant Bible? <laughs> this one here, I went before coming over, I bought a Swedish Bible. This is also based on the King James Version. Is this Bible we are talking about? Then I have here, Siamese twins, as you see, identical, identical Bibles, look at them, you can't mistake their identity, they are identical, both say revised standard version, revised standard version, out of these two, one is 1952 and one is 1971, which one would you accept as the word of God? So we have to identify, if you can help me, he said, look, I accept the RSV, or I accept only the Swedish Bible, I only accept the King James Version, or I accept the Roman Catholic Bible, then we can proceed. Otherwise, we don't know which Bible are we talking about, because these are all different Bibles. By God, they are not the same. Even these twins are not the same. Does anybody know how many versions of the Bible do we have currently? If, if you know how many versions, English translation that is, how many versions of the Holy Bible do we have in English translations? That we, The number, the total number. Just hit me up in the comments and tell us so that we can find out how many of these Bibles do we have. They may look like Siamese twins, but they are not. So if I have the privilege of knowing, it will make it easy, my task easier to proceed with the Bible which the pastor accepts as the word of God, out of all these. Which one? Sir? Yes. Which one, sir? Out of these. I'll answer you when I get the time for myself because I have a very good answer. Thank you. Okay, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have discovered that uh, the Quran has different kind of translations following exactly the same principle as when the Bible has been translated. I can prove that reading from this one that was translated by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and reading from this one that we bought in Lahore, Pakistan, translated by Mulana Muhammad Ali. You know, I must take off my hat to... But you remember I did make a video speaking about the translations of the Holy Quran. I spoke about this and you guys really engaged me on, on the comments and I thank you for that. But I didn't really get a clear answer as to what is going to happen now. Because these translations, they offer a different opinion in the English translation of it. I understand we must read the Arabic part and we must refer to the Arabic part. But somebody in this world is going to get the Quran in their hands. The Quran is going to fall into their hands, which is an English translation. They know nothing about Islam. They know nothing about Arabic. They are going to read the English translation. And God forbid it falls upon them, the ones that really, really have different meanings in certain verses of significance, like the ones I showed you in the previous video. I'm going to link the video up here. If you didn't see it, go and watch it and you'll see what I mean. But something must be done about having many versions. Let's just have one or two versions that are specific, and that's it. Pastor Stanley, I must take off my hat. You know, beautifully, he has beautifully evaded answering the questions. Beautiful. And he has had us all tentalized with this oratory, and I tell you, give him another clap for that. Give him a clap. It is, it is really difficult, you see, when an orator is pouring out his thoughts, is full of knowledge, this thing, that thing, and he's catching us, he's holding us there, so we fail to realize that the man is not answering the problems. The first question, if you remember, now I want you to remind you. And if you have a chance, buy this videotape. Buy the tape, and at home when you will be able to listen to both the speakers again and again, you'll be able to see, you know, what the game is being played. You'll be able to catch the joke then, better than while you're listening now. You're too much involved in this discussion at the moment. The very first question I asked was to identify the witness, if you remember. In any case, any court case, if you fail to do that, the judge would stop you in your stride. He said, stop it, identify your witnesses. And that's the first question I asked. Here are the witnesses, the exhibits, the Roman Catholic Bible. Do you accept this as the word of God? These twins I showed you, do you accept them as the word of God? This Schofield's Bible, do you accept them? Do you accept this as the word of God? But he says, no, I will answer in my time. His time, he had full time, 60 and more minutes that you know. And the question is still not answered. I will, I will answer. Now, let me tell you the reason why he couldn't answer. He knew, he knows. Any learned man knows that this is not simply a question of translations. You see, when he spoke about the Qur'ans, there are different translations of the Qur'an by different people. Different people have a different choice of words. For the same thing, use different terminology to express the same thing. This is every translator has a right. But a version is quite a different thing from a translation. I explained to you, simple, you see this Roman Catholic Bible has got 73 books inside. True or false, professor? True. 73. The book that you are using, 
the authorized King James Version as a basis of that book that you have there, has got 66 books. Difference of seven. This book, the Roman Catholic Bible, preceded yours, the Protestant Bible. It had seven extra books. You threw it out, the Protestant world threw it out. The book of Maccabees, the book of Judith, the, the book of Tobias. Seven books you threw out from what your canon as the word of God. In other words, you do not accept the Roman Catholic Bible a per se as the word of God. Because there are seven more books in here than what you have in your Bible. This is what you ought to have explained to the people. Why don't you accept this book as God's word? I will tell you. <laughs> يا أهل الكتاب قد جاءكم رسولنا يبين لكم O people of the book, our messenger has come to you clarifying for you much of what you kept hidden of the book and overlooking much. A light from God has come to you and a clear book. This is the Holy Quran rather. This is not the Holy Bible. If you are thinking what it is, this is the Holy Quran that I'm reading here on the screen. And, you know, he said he's going to answer the question, but he didn't answer the question. This is Trovias Quran, chapter 5, verse 15. Now, you must understand one thing that most of the Christian pastors themselves today, they do not know the Roman Catholic Bible. They do not know the scriptures, the seven extra scriptures that are found in there. They haven't seen them. They don't know the titles. They don't know what's even contained inside of those books. So when you ask somebody which one is correct between that one and all the other versions from the King James Version and all of the versions that preceded the King James, they do not know the difference because they don't know the major difference that is there, which is the seven extra books that are there in the Roman Catholic Bible. But going back to the fact that is the Bible the word of God? What can we say? Certain scriptures in the Holy Bible were inspired by God. They were inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were inspired by the prophets of Allah. But the whole book, the completion of the book, the compilation of the book, it was written by hand, by a man's hand. And woe unto you who write your books according to your own hands and according to your own mind, because it does not come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you understand you compiled certain letters together, but still, in that way, it is not the complete word of God. The word of God must be fully translated by him and must come from him directly to a messenger, one person. Not many different people, but one person, so that we can compile what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in one book. Hence, we have the Holy Quran. But that was a short, nice, quick video reaction. Please drop a like on the video. Please leave a comment as well. Like I asked before, if maybe you know the amount of um, um, translations that we have in English in the Holy Bible, Please tell me how many we have and also what you think about today's video. But much love and peace. We're going to see you next time.